All right, that's prevent. That's giving them now a safety buffer against it. Where uh, other than when they're out here, so they shouldn't get any more problems with it. Bubbles is still sick though. But I don't think this bit will have any issues now. Should be able to get in and out and do just fine. We'll just put this for long term because if we want to come on getting into this, we will. Should be fine. All right, we're almost done here. And then I think we can actually turn this on. And let it start to augment into this power. It's not our full solution, but it's certainly a step in the right direction. And we'll be using less water and or power in a minute because this will be off. In fact, this is done. Pretty much, I'd say. Maybe we'll let it go a little bit longer. Starting to get some pretty small packets coming in. Yeah, I'd say it's done. Okay, now, uh, let's not be dumping the water back in. And here we go. We're Oh, we're, we're dumping too much water in this thing. <laughs> Jesus, these guys. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's a, that's a problem. Um, you guys need a, uh, a place to dump water. Uh, we'll give you a place to dump water. It's temporary in nature. Right here. Yeah, we might as well. Mm, we got some more because of the way the door slams water through. This door will uh, cause it to appear over here, I think. We're almost out of power again, guys. We run out of coal. Very close. Very close. All right, are we good? Now we can dump the water here. You guys can get rid of all the water you want now. Everything else got kind of cleaned up. This is almost built. Really got to get some cleanup going on. Um, now... We need to get this to fire. So this can be told to use copper. Um, power wise. Now we do have to temporarily kind of slap it into that. Now, what do these things put out? I start getting liquid output pipe. Yeah, for ethanol. Polluted dirt. I don't know where all that polluted water came from then before. It makes polluted dirt. That's fine. I guess maybe this thing fired. This could just be like... That. Um... Let me see. Okay, so that just fired. Ethanol's coming out. Okay, and we turn on this. Okay. And it's... it's oh, 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 before we get carried away here. Let's uh, turn that off for a second. You got to block this in. Uh, we'll do air tiles. Here. Uh, 
Alright, let's kick this. Alright. I do believe we have a F, we have a, uh, this working. All right. So, how what kind of love power levels are we dealing with? Though we're dealing with two forties on this. The problem is we've got this thing triggered up to say when this is full, then um, don't fire. So we need to have a better system in place because we needed to be functioning for these things until it's uh, to a certain level. I think the most immediate first step is we give it its own battery. That'll be the first step in getting this to function the way I want it to. Automation. Um, I need an OR gate. If either one wants it, you can fire. Yeah, so this is going to be like, let's say we're going to put it like that. We're going to snip this, X out those. This automation here is going to go into that one. This one is going to run to the battery. And then the power is going to go like this. Does that work, or did we screw this up because this isn't connected as well? That's another problem. It wasn't connected. So that battery was causing issues with it, and it wasn't giving its power to it. But we do need to have its own degraded system, though. Um, problem is this is all going to be one unit now. But as long as this battery, but both batteries will now function. So I guess now it would work even without this battery. This is redundant because I didn't realize it wasn't hooked up to the grid. So that battery functions for everything. Um, this is just all bad. Yeah, because if these are off that battery, it was just because it wasn't plugged in. I couldn't figure out what's going on there. That one's fine. Right, and F2. Now, as soon as this is hooked up, I can't believe I didn't have it hooked up the whole way. This is not, uh, this is not needed. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Now that thing is working. Okay, so we get an overheat damage. Or an overload, overloading, of course, because we got the bridge still connected. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, that was how we jump-started things. Um, I think it was right there. Yeah. That we, so that's the wire bridge that's damaged. Okay, so, so there's lovely ethanol brewing. And we want these things to stop. We're not going to try and produce excess. So when these, when this is full and this is happy, these things can just stop using power. We're not going to try and build excess, I don't think. Yeah, I think we've solved our power problem for a, li a little bit of time. Because these are going to run out of coal soon. Because we're out of coal. There's none left. So now, it's going to be on this. How much lumber did we burn? Not a lot so far. So we're going to have to start to watch that. But I think we've now come up with a... Mm, going to take the glass. Come up with a little bit of a power solution that's better than what we had going. Heat-wise, everything is tolerable so far. 
this does look like it's pretty hot. These are fairly hot. Um, I think we could build a pretty clever cooling system for a while for all this. It wouldn't be that uh, problematic. Like, it would like, be powerless as well. What temperature is that ethanol, though? Yeah, that's about what I expected. Um, if we were to take some radiant pipe, I'm going to consider that we'd have to get in here, which is not a problem. We can get We can get in here. And let's say we were going to do this. We were going to run radiant pipe like this up to here. Now, we don't even have to use radiant pipe, do we? Oh, yeah, we do. For that part, we will. This, though, doesn't need to be. Just that part is going to be radiant pipe. Um, we're going to go in here to do all this work. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to deconstruct this pump for now. And also just uh, eliminate this just for the time being. We will have to um, redo that later. But just to sort of get it out of here. And the end of the um, all this wiring can get out of here for now as well. Where is this going to? Down, it was supposed to be helping with that. Um, we're not going to be using any of this for a while. So I think we'll just leave that out. We'll kind of get rid of all this for now. Make things cl more clear. Um then what we're going to need is uh, these conduction panels. We can make those out of uh, aluminum. And we're just going to want to put one, two, three, four of them. With, uh, this regular pipe is going to be fine, honestly. And then it goes like this, here, to here into here and then it will eventually tap into that and um to get in here we'll just simply go like this and then we'll just try and uh get all this done fast and this will provide a cooling just to help regulate the temperatures it'll really help for a while to uh, sort sort things out. Yeah, we can even remove this for now. Because we're going to get this really, really cold uh, polluted water area down here. Okay, then what we are going to want is we will want a, um, a water pump eventually back in here. Um, so we'll be sticking that. Plus, we need to get some some polluted water into that system. Or maybe we'll use ethanol. We might as well use ethanol. So I don't need to put this in right now. Yeah, so ethanol has the property of... Can I not select ethanol without having to go into this liquid pipe ethanol properties thought I could get could see the property of ethanol from within this piping hmm I think ethanol is fairly good I don't think I have to worry about it um sure was way I could see it I think it has pretty good values. I'm not too worried about it. So to finish this off, we just basically want to take this to here. This should loop naturally because of these things. And then all we need to do is for now, just put a bridge like this. And then when they complete all that, we'll get some ethanol in there. Is there like a database? Or I can go ethanol. Yeah. And I can see like 
So, yeah, so it goes, yeah, so it's not going to be an issue. Seventy-eight point four. Hmm. Turns into gas. Well, I don't think we're going to be getting over that temperature. So maybe it's not such a good idea to use it for this. If it's going to gas up that easily, I can just see that blowing up one day on me. Let me see about. I guess polluted water is is the best for now. Right, yeah. Negative 20. Not even close to that. So in order to do that, um, then for now, I think we'll just dig this out. Yeah. Why are we not... Why are we down power-wise again? Why are we... This could be... Uh, I'm going to deactivate this. Why are we down power wise? What have I done? This is here. Disabled by automation grid. Huh? Disabled by automation grid. Oh God. Of course. Okay. Jesus Christ. Forgot I told them to uh, disconnect that. Why is it switching types? No, that's wrong. Cancel all that. Seriously. Um, the automation wire is obviously flipped out on me. What were we using before? Iron. Ran, ran out of iron. That's what it is. Automation. Iron. I just want to do one single piece. Flip this off. So to get this to start doing what I need to do, I need some polluted water in there. So we will build the pump back in, and then we will simply just wire that into this loop. Um, bring it some power from somewhere. And, uh, man, this project is getting bigger and bigger by the second. I don't know exactly how this will work, but we're going to try it. This doesn't need to be cracked anymore. So now we've got this thing is kicking. So how I'm going to have to study how fast our lumber is going down. Well, that was a good crop. It'll be a while before these things produce another load. Get any more ready. We won't see any more arbor seeds until it's in their harvest round, and then I think we'll get like one or two at most. Yeah, until this forest is completely full, I don't think it's. But it's going to grow. We're going to grow into it. That's for sure. We'll definitely grow into it. So let's just get this thing up and running. How are we doing up here? Did we ever get this finished? We did. 
Right. So this is this is done. Um, I think I need to just add a bit more here, just for aesthetics purposes. We'll finish this off as well. Maybe just do it like this and give it a little bit extra. At least now it's fairly safe running through here radiation wise. It already is, but you know, we have to add all that in and we're starting to build ourselves a radio a radiation bridge. Yeah, we're not losing too much as they run in and out. Yeah, we just get one more of these in. Right there. Because then I'll basically... I think what... what uh, I didn't need to touch like that. Yeah, so... Now I can basically just go and rip this out. It goes out and make it look good. And that allows us to get automation in. Because we should be able to center. I don't know how I would want it. Is it going to be like that? We're going to go like the theoretical way. That's about the distance there. Yeah, it should be like that, right? With six in between. Yeah. Yeah. It covers. Yeah, so we'll be going like that. I already know we can get these ones. Oh, okay, let's cancel these. Material that I'm building them out of. I don't need to be building them out of steel. And uh, we would have to make more stuff. I don't want to use the aluminum since it's such a good thing. I don't want to use steel. I want to use copper for this. So we have to make more copper uh, until we we have our power stuff sorted a little bit better. I don't think I'm going to do that. I think we'll just be manually handling all this stuff for a while. And then these are branch, branch, branch. I think these are ready to be ripped out. This one has been here a long time, so we're actually slowing it down by having that there. This one's still developing, so we have to leave this for a little bit until it grows its branches out. Okay, so we have a uh, problem, to say the least. Problem solved. Okay, the lumber is burning at a fairly healthy rate. No question about that. This is not active right now. He's getting the tune up on good. That's pretty important for efficiency right now with this lumber stuff. When we've got, this is now getting filled very slowly. 
wait until we get some wait until we get this filled basically Okay, this is full now, so we disconnect this. I guess simply have to do a bit of a power or a little plumbing on it. There, I think it's I think it's there. Nope, not quite. about that. Still does back up. It still slows down on itself. I don't know if by pulling out more if that's going to fix it. We kind of really need to get one packet emptied out of it. See if we can get this to flow steady. There, that, I think that's got it now. Try that. There we go. Uh, the question is, how will that perform? I think it'll perform pretty good for a while. It's a cooling system. It'll keep it under control. Yeah, it'll keep it under control for a while, I think. It'll be a while before it starts to create issues. And then it's uh, there's so many ways to easily fix this. So this has got the tune-up going. And... Seems to be providing the power we need. So now we'll just see how fast it chew. Uh oh, what did, what happened here? Body temperature from us letting things go out. Got exposed to space. The atmosphere in here got what? Uh, it's having. Got down to 15C. Okay, well. We know already know the uh, this climate control solution to uh, oops to that problem. This is an easy fix. Eventually, what we'll do is probably we could bring this to help. Uh, we'll see how the trees react. I know there's some funky stuff going on with temperatures with them. See how it reacts though. How many problems is this water going to now create for me? Oh my god. Endless problems, I'm sure. All right, let's get this sorted out. Before I overheat this place.
still having issues with water coming from somewhere over here. What is, where, why does this water appear from? I'm not entirely sure. Hold on. Get in here. Look at how fast that did this got dispersed. I didn't even need to crack it open yet. Still aren't uh, quite online with them. Close though, I think it's gonna balance out. Yeah. I think it's gonna even out. Oh it should we should have thrown a little bit more in here, honestly. Not happy that these are offline. I don't want to build more. Like I get a, I could run it like, you know, zigzagging through and make it way better, but I really don't want to build more of it. I don't want to spend the materials. But yeah, that didn't, uh, we could have gone for more of a dump. In fact, I think we're going to have to. Let's see, where's the hottest spots? So let's just try it right here. Look at this stupid water. It keeps on appearing everywhere. I turn into steam when I crack it. You get all that water out of here. Man, where is this water coming from? What is going on with this system here that we are experiencing? Water constantly explodes. Is it this? It's becoming very constant. There's no reason for it to be any of this stuff. Something's getting... Is it just there's ice here? Maybe that's it. I keep on, there's just some ice that's been dropped here and we're almost, uh, almost gotten rid of it all. That could be that. Probably is. That's going to need more of a heat dump. There we go.
It's starting to cool down this top layer here. Like you can see, this stuff is no longer as anywhere near as hot as it used to be. This is, though. Here comes a heat explosion. This will be exciting. Watch this. No? A little better. A little better. We can let that go for a while. Like, it's really cold over in these areas. Yeah, this whole room needs to just get a much better shade of green, so... This surface is not quite as uh, aggressive as it used to be. I know this is, but it takes time for it to transfer through. Amazing. I'm going to take this whole thing out. Oops. Come on, let's get it done. Ruby, do you have radiation sickness? I guess you guys are running out here and doing, grabbing materials and stuff, so... Um, how about we just, uh... Nobody goes outside for a while. All right. Now we'll see if we can get some heat transference occurring. Oh, this this is nice, and this is nice over here. Still, it's very controllable now. The amount that's coming off of it. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty controllable. Can let a lot of this, a lot more in than that, for sure. Oh yeah, we're burning through that lumber. Seventeen five twenty one. When it's your only source of power, it's gonna be interesting to see. And it's staying, everything's staying cool. Uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how long we're gonna. Uh, the ethanol is gonna be a solution for us. Still, we have no excess power to burn. No way, no how. This all solidified into ice down here. It's hilarious. I'm gonna start considering the things we use power for. Most of it's essential. I do want to keep, like, I know this takes power, but I do want to keep uh, this water system going. I, I hate to use up sacrifice water. However, we could say there'll come a point where we're like, uh, do you need to make more water? Or do you think you'll be okay for a while? And is power more important? And kind of let these things just do their thing. As well as at any moment, if this is getting overflowed, I can dump a lunch down here. I'm really concerned about saving it. I can just start storing big, huge pools of it. What? Who is? Why? Why? Why are you getting popped eardrums? Is the pressure in here that high? Why is it so high over here? 
It's so weird. I'd say that it's just the way that carbon dioxide is interacting. I think we're fine. Why wouldn't you have gone and used the uh, massage table? No power. Did we cut off the power to it somehow? Oh my god, it's rewired to this back end stuff. That's great. That's just great. That's great. Oh, god. Unbelievable. Um, no. Let's do this properly. And this one. Oh my god, I'm so bad at drawing these things. That's gonna be cut off. That's very old. Because we just keep getting this water issue over here. And I can't fit. Now, this isn't helping either, but yeah, like uh, they keep running through water. And I'm not sure where it keeps coming from. I have to assume there's ice. Yeah, I can see it. There's ice up here. So we're going to get that cleaned out. That's where it keeps coming from. That's creating major issues for us. And this thing is active, right? Yeah. Okay, so those are wired up now. This can all get backed off at some point. That's not going to be how we're going to be doing things. Oh, mistakes you make early end up coming back to haunt you. I don't even care. This is not automated. That's not a big deal. Close them down a little bit though. Uh, maybe we don't. Maybe we do have to do this. Um, this is already pre wired in. We need to uh, now take this over here. And uh, then it'll get power to this stuff. Um, we don't need this thing, doesn't need power anymore. Uh, we'll just disconnect this. Uh, here we'll let that get power from that we'll clean this up clean that up clean that up we'll clean this up like that okay how are we doing here I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna keep this open until I see this turning Nice, good shade of green. This isn't that much heat. Now the question is... Man, I got a lot of shy nips floating around. Could that be causing them radiation? sickness? I don't think so. Now I say we I think we I think we got a few too many of these things, so let's um what is it? P9 P clean some of these things up. They're not uh of much use to me. Maybe 
Yeah, and they get in the Dreckel Ranch and cause issues too. E9T. No, 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 no. Sorry. E9T. This one. Yeah, I see a whole bunch of their eggs around too. Here's another one. Yeah, it's time, it's time to exterminate all uh, shine bugs from the base. Make sure egg, raw eggs are turned off. They are. And where is our egg cracker? Egg cracker. Um, just put it here. Getting there. The thing we gotta do is clean this up. Um, I'll do that later though. It'll help control the temperature. Actually, we'll do it now. And where was I dropping? Oh, this is my sweepables. That's fine. That's fine. It's a long way to go, but yeah, so be it. Oh, nope, we're starting to harvest stuff. Maybe we'll get another acorn soon. Oh, we did get one. Okay, so there it is. Deconstruct. Now this one can get axed out of here. And we can put the ladder back in. How it's supposed to be, and that's going to allow us to uh, finish this one up. Oops, I've screwed that up. That's not supposed to go like that. It's supposed to be like this. He's carrying... This guy's carrying something. I think he's coming to do it. Wow. Long journey now for them. Go, go, go. What'd you plant? Perfect. Perfect. Deconstruct this one. Deconstruct this. And the ladder can go in. And this can get deconstructed. No, sorry, not this. This. And that was one's almost done, but there seems to be no more acorns. Maybe they'll get another one as they're harvesting. Hey, mate. So how's our lumber count? Oh, we are gaining lumber. Now it is harvest time. And we still haven't even heated these ones up, so we didn't even lose some time there. Um, I can't believe this is... I guess it would help if I was running this clo in right in here, but... I think that would slowly spread. Spread this way. 
Now it's just having an issue spreading this side. So close. I think that's going to be enough, honestly. I think it's just a matter of time. I think I'll close this up as the last thing I'm going to do for the day. That overall, I think, will get the room to the like a decent, nice temperature that we want. Yeah, there's a bunch of cold stuff that we took that out that fell on the ground. So we're gonna need to uh, deal with that. Anyways, I'm gonna end the episode here. I think we've done a lot. I've been going for quite a while. Um, certainly sorted some issues, and I do like to see that we went a little bit positive here. But I know it is just because they're now harvesting a crop, but um, yeah, I do like to see that. Um, we'll see how it goes. The long, more we created this, the better it's going to get. Um, I think with the NG's tune-up, which he hasn't done, which is surprising. Um, but I have been given a lot of red alerts and stuff. I think with the NG's tune-up going, if he can get pretty regular on this, you know, and kind of really being very careful about it, the way we use our power. Um, these guys are making... Yeah, we shouldn't be doing this. We should not be making pickled meal anymore. Nope. Barbecue's okay. Omelette's okay. Speaking of omelettes, let's not forget this. Shrine bug forever. Um... But we're not, yeah, we're not spending energy on the on the barbecue for making the meal anymore. We're we're at that level where it's kind of is we're making what we eat more or less, not really building up. So, um, I think we're at that right level as well. So every way we can conserve power, and the other way is keep now starting to try and keep their stress down. Um. So they don't use the massage tables and things like that. And we are having issues with the power keeps blinking out. He is doing the tune-up. So we are still using the power quite a bit. We're going to have to back it off from this system. And stop. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to stop this from draining power for a while. So this is going to have to shut down. Um, I know I said I was going to end the episode, but I want to fix a few last things so I don't forget. So we're taking this offline. Um, no, that's not what I want to do. No, 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 no. This one. Is it there that I want to cut it? Yeah. So we're going to cut this out. That will help us uh, save power. Because that's going to take two pumps offline and these things offline. So that'll help us. We had already worked through this water. We we're good there. Now let's see if that flashes back on. My concern is these massage tables going online. We're going to have other, other breakdowns happening. Oh, I see. We're offline because these. That's right. Because they, they're connected to this. Um, so that is a problem. Is we'll have to jump start it. So we better have that ability uh, for a while since we don't really have a, um, you know, anytime this all goes down, which it shouldn't normally, I might need more batteries just to be sure that it's more an even flow. It should not go down normally. So that's really what happened. But I think we're still going to back up the power usage for a bit and then thread our way into it, like gradually build into it more. So... All we need to do here is, yeah, this this for now can just kind of get out of the way. We just need this to quickly get all figured out. We're just going to connect this like that. So 
I just got to get this to kick and then it'll, it'll be fine. And then we'll need also better put an automation switch on this thing. Yeah, see, this is the problem. So uh, I'm not sure how the, I guess this suddenly just drains too much, goes in, boom, it's empty. Now these can't fire, right? And uh, we got to correct that. Then I'll end the episode. But first, we got to do this. Yeah, we got to get things under control. We made the turn, then we had to iron it out. It's always like that. You get the system up running, you think everything's good, and then you just got to iron things out. Obviously, this thing needs to be inside the base so that when this happens, um, it, it, I can get it to kick. But for now, I just got to get it up and running again. So let's just see here. I mean, this should be going. This stuff should not, this stuff should wear itself out very soon where it will be done. Oh, it has some, uh, yeah, I need this to stop. We need this to stop immediately. Too bad for the excess. There. Yeah, until I can get things under control. We gotta minimize things. Okay, let's just go over nine on you or you're gonna get maybe get upset. And what's the situation here? These things are starting to go. Battery is getting up there. Kind of holding. Really, power fluctuates. There's really not that much running right now. Otherwise, these things, of course, are a little bit... Until it gets... Basically, until these, these pipes start filling up where these jam off. And then you get you get the like this is a battery essentially right like what happens is now all three go it's when it got low it started compounding problems onto itself like one will shut down right and now you're using you'll be using that much less power it's a pipe will be full see this one will this one will now be saying pipe blocked So it's, it shouldn't be firing as much. I think that works. I could do some fancier automation, I think, to this and uh, to make it more efficient. I think we're starting. I almost need. Yeah, I think we're starting. Maybe another battery would help keep things more regulated. And once their stress is down, then. Um, We just got to make sure that the stress is being caused by water on the ground. So we're going to have to get this ice out of here and stuff like that. We have to clean up a little bit for sure. And I'm going to take a hatchling. Just got to clean things up a bit and get things back to a more of a steady state. And the eardrums popping doesn't make sense to me, honestly. I don't think that should be happening. That was 4,000 before that happened. Oh, it's when they go out here. Right? We got nine point. 
Yeah, that's what happened. They're going out here to put their suits on. But like, this is essentially... This thing now is in the wrong place, and we really needed it to be. That's what's going on. That's a huge stress cause. So we'll fix that next episode as well. Now that we know what's going on, um, multiple ways we can fix it. One of the easiest ways is simply to start venting all this carbon into the, into space. It's just built up over time from, from this thing. Um, it's not good having that much for sure here. So I think this needs to be just vented. And even though it causes power, better than spending it on the other things. And um, eventually it, it will, we'll be able to control it so that it's uh, it doesn't activate all the time. But that's going to have to be uh, figured out somehow. It looks like it can go right here. Maybe even here is fine. We simply just got to run this up into space. I don't think I'll do it like that. I think I will do the classic system where you just actually make sure it's going directly into space. Like that. Right, and then we'll have to give them access to that. And you'll need automation eventually for Atmos Sensor. It doesn't need to be too specific because it's in, we're just going to get it down to like 2,000 or whatever. Um, and then power. I think it can just uh, have that kind of power. Turn this off again. Oh, we will. We're going to, once we get this pressure, obviously we don't want to do it now. Once we get this pressure out of here, then what we're going to do is we're going to redo this. So these things are on the inside. This is on the outside. Um, which is going to change it around. Yeah, the door is even less important to have set up this way simply because we're not dealing with cold temperatures out here anymore. Um, so I can actually gain a couple spaces back from this if I want to add more suit bursts, but this has to be all redesigned. So anyhow, we will do all that in the next episode. Hope you had a great day. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you later. See you in the next one.